Oh, you're gonna kid you singing and laugh at um hello, welcome to DWTT. I am Gary, this is my five. We'll talk about five players that I picked out for this game based on the lineup and uh you know talk you know, talk talk about it in the uh, Arsenal two Brighton nil match. I'm laughing because I did the same thing I did earlier on my other video, whereas my audio was not set up. So then when I look down to see wh how, how everything is going, I look over and the auto is just blank. There's nothing going on. Um, <laughs> why? I don't know why I did. I've been, I'm doing that, but uh, I have to get better at that. Um, I don't know why it's happening today. But yeah, I am... Talking about you know the game we got the we got the win didn't didn't give us everything we wanted um, because we had to depend on uh, the team in North London to actually do something uh, positive for us negative for them but it didn't happen so uh, no Europe for us next season uh, but the win hopefully is uh, something we can take on take on into next season and build on for those players that will be be around with us next season. Um, let's see, let's see what's going to happen. It's a, it's a strange time. You know, the plays, the, the, the team played pretty well, um, but will they be able to continue that in, in the new season? So let's see. Uh, we'll take the win and we'll move on from there. So next up, uh, let's get into my five. All right, so here's my five. Uh, so I'll have to give you a little description of why I chose them. Pepe, just wanted to see him continue. To, to show what he's showed so far, uh, so expecting to see that continue. Uh, Bamiang, still hoping to see kind of how he fits in with the the structure that we have. Um, see how we can benefit from the skill set that he brings. So it's looking to see that. Tony just coming back, you know, coming back for the injury he had, and I'd like to see him continue. I mean, he's our starting left back, so just want to see him play. Um, hope to see him go out pretty strong. Um, let's go from there. Next up, Partey. Once again, uh, you know injuries have had, I think have played him this season, and just wanted to see him continue to uh, to grow and get comfortable. Wanted to also see you know if you know maybe he'll score. You know um, he is a you know uh, Atletico did win their league, so he he will be getting a medal for that. So interesting enough, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe that will give him a little bit of fire and uh, see how we'll see how he does. And then last but not least, uh, Jacques playing next to Partey. You know, we saw uh, uh, El Nani play with him, and um, they played pretty well. Wanted to see the same thing again with Jaka um, playing his preferred position. So we'll go from there. So let's go. Let's start with um, our first player. All right. First up, we've got uh, Pepe. Um, I'm assuming he's probably most people's man of the match. He played pretty well in that second half. In the first half, though, for me, he looked like most of the other teammates, um, especially when we got into the 18, a little timid, a little touchy-touchy in terms of having wanting to touch the ball multiple times as opposed to maybe shoot. Um, in the second half, he did the exact opposite. He got his, the minimum number of touches that he needed, got the shot off, and... Uh, you know, scored twice, so that's kind of the the good and bad. I guess you're going to get with with uh, Pepe sometimes that you're thinking. You know, sometimes you're going to see you're going to see um, you're going to see the good in him, and then you're going to see the bad in him. And the bad really for him is just um, the initiative to go ahead and, uh, and attack. He um, did that in the second half. In the first half, like I said, too many touches, not enough, not enough shots for me. I'll put a little bit more pressure on the defense, and he can do that whenever he wants to. Um, I think he, we just want him to want that more and more and more. You know, I, I want him to want it so much that you know maybe he has to get taken out of the game because he's given so much, and that's where I feel like he might be. You know, it's kind of taking some breaks uh, in the game, um, and I just want to see him attack, 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 because he's got it in him. Uh, first half's not there. Second half. He, Definitely there, and I think the the difference between the halves was in that first half. He had too many, one he had too many touches on the ball, and the reason why I think is because he had too much time to think about what was about to happen. Um, in the second half, I think he just didn't have enough time to think about what was going to happen, and he just he just went ahead and his instinct took over, and he just took the shots. 
And I think that's true for a lot of the players at Arsenal. I mean, I think when we don't uh, spend too much time on the ball, good things happen. Um, and the shots go off and the goals get scored. So I, th I think that's what we saw there with that. On that second half, you can see the difference between the two. If you look at his touches in the first half and the second half, you know, the goals, they were just like it. bang, bang, shot, goal. I'm in the first one, and uh, ball comes out. And, you know, what's interesting is the, the pass before the pass was all by the same player. And I guess, you know, so I guess maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get into that, you know, when we get to that player. But, you know, pass comes out to uh, Chambers. Um, uh, Chambers puts the, the cross in, I believe. Yeah, Chambers puts the cross in. Pepe is able to um, trap the ball. Um, he hits the ground. As he's coming back up, he just takes it with his right foot, scores. No time to think. You know, just react, react. The ball's come in. you got to slow it down. you got to get control of it and take the shot. And he did it. Goal. Uh, second goal comes in, goes out to Erdiger. He um, gets the ball into him with a lot of space. He cuts inside. Defenders are trying to push him back out to the right. He's like, nah, I got this with his left foot. Goal. Wow. You know, just, you know, it's just instinct, really. You know, they practice this stuff all the time. And uh, he's shown it when he just puts, you know, says he puts his head down and, and goes for it. Goals happen. And he did that today. So, you know, you know good, you know, you know cheers to, 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 to Pepe. Really good. Enjoyed that. Enjoyed that. Way. Good way to go out. And, uh, you know, I guess we got a couple months until we see it again. So on a regular basis. Hopefully we do. Hopefully he has um, solidified his spot. You know, some think he might get sold. I don't, you know, we're going to have to, are you going to be able to replace something like that? I don't think so. I mean, he had, uh, I, think, I think he had 10 goals in the Premier League this season, right at the same mark as Aubameyang. If he can continue to do that and maybe go 20, you know, be a 20 goal assist player, that would be perfect for us in the Premier League. That's what we need. And maybe that, you know, maybe I'll improve on that. But I think just, you know, if he's able to improve that total for goals and assists, we'll take it because that means that he's in the game. All right, so next up, let's see what we have here. Next up, we've got a Bamiang, all right? So, like I, like I said at the beginning, I was kind of looking to see how he was going to fit in, and uh, I was hoping to see him be able to us be able to see how a striker would fit into the way we play uh, and be the, you know be in positions to to score I, I just I don't think I saw that today from him I and maybe others will see it I don't see him fitting in every time he's out there playing I'm just like he just seems to be wasting a position on the field we don't get as much out of him he's not putting in positions to score I mean I don't even know if he took a shot today I mean he probably did but I don't I don't feel like I saw enough of it to go. You know what? He took a lot of shots. I know, I know, I know. Um, Partey took shots, but I don't remember him taking uh, that many shots. Um, I, that, that he may have taken shots, but I just don't feel like I saw it enough to 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 say. You know, he had a solid game. I don't know if he would say that from the way he played. Um, just don't, just don't know. Just don't know. I don't know. You know. Maybe he gets some rest, comes back healthy, and you know the the other part to it is. I don't, I see him kind of jogging around, you know. And I'm, you know, I, I don't know if he's conserving his energy, but some once in a while he will attack the back line, and once in a while he, he won't. And I feel like he needs to do that continually, especially when we've got them the ball kind of stuck on on their side of the field. I like to see him, you know. I I see I see Erdogan come up and uh, put some pressure on there. On their their back line, and I'd like to see him do that a little bit more with a little bit more urgency when he does it, a little bit more ferocity when he does it. Um, maybe he can't, and that's part of the problem. You know, maybe, you know, he's got time to rest now. And I can see him come in and play pretty well to start the season if he's going to be with us. I know he's going to be gone for a month, a month probably. So I'd like to see him play pretty well going into that that time. Um, but all in all, I just didn't feel like I got what I wanted from him. Um, so mm, we'll see. We shall see. All right. Next up uh, is Tyranny, um, or KT as I call him out there. 
initially when I looked at it, I, you know, I, I, I kind of said he started strong and kind of disappeared, but I felt like um, he was there doing a lot of the, you know, it's a lot of the dirty work sometimes, and that's kind of what shows up. You don't see it unless you go back and watch sometimes. He's in there, you know, clearing balls and heading balls back up for another attack, you know, coming up and um, being able to maybe play, you know, play with the, the forwards up there on that left side, and that's what we want, right? Um, so I, I kind of felt like he had a good game in that sense. Uh, we don't need him to, to score, really, right? We just need him to be able to get that, keep that ball up there and, you know, play one-two with the, um, the fours as they attack, and I think he tried to do that, and... I mean, would I, I would have liked to have seen some, maybe some more crosses from him. But in general, I think he um, he gave a, he gave a good performance. You know, um, he'll be off to I uh, guess with Scotland over the summer. So um, hopefully that uh, gives him the you know he can work on some things there. I, I don't know much more he can work on because he will be probably out of position, right? But um, maybe that those those you know they say cross training is the best thing. So if he's going to be out of position, then maybe he can work on some skills that you know every once in a while we'll, he'll need and uh, Arsenal could uh, benefit from. So, all, all good game for Tierney. Um, yeah, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, next up is Pepe. That was Pepe. <laughs> Parte. <laughs> Pepe, Parte. Parte, Pepe. Parte. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, see how he's going to do coming in. Um, he just been seeming more comfortable and more comfortable. I was hoping to see him score. Um, the one thing that he does, and the one thing he was do he was doing today with the ball is, uh, I didn't see as many miss 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 passes from him today. Um, he, his, a lot of his passes had a purpose. He knew what he was trying to do: curl it around the defender, move the ball up the field, and he was doing that a lot. You know, he could take the ball with a defender on his back, and no problem. So I think the more and more we play with him. The more and more we realize, you know what, just because there's somebody close to him doesn't mean he can't get the ball. He's, um, from what I've seen, he's done pretty well with that, being able to keep the ball away from the defenders. They don't get anywhere close to it, and that's nice to see, right? He's pretty strong in that sense, being able to control uh, the spacing around him so he gets what he wants. Really good play from him today. Uh, he took multiple shots today. Um, I think he might take four or five shots today, and, and they all looked good to me. A um, couple of interceptions. I think the goalie made it a really nice stop. I uh, hit the hit the post, hit the crossbar. Um, interceptions. I mean, everything. They you know the balls at least for me seemed to be on target, which was perfect, right? And uh, that's what we want from him. So you know, eventually some of those goals will go in. But I think he believe you know he controlled that middle and. Uh, the one thing that I, you know, the one thing I did notice is that, you know what, if that was Basuma playing next to him, um, and you saw how Basuma played today, how would that be? That would be pretty nice to see, I think. So, you know what, well, you know, maybe that uh, it was a, um, a telling sign that uh, uh, Basuma and, and Pepe were kind of talking after the game. Maybe uh, Pepe was saying, telling him, you know what, we got a locker for you, you know, so just come on over and <laughs> say yes. <laughs> But it was a, uh, it was, it was cool, you know. So, but in general, I think, yeah, Partey, good game, enjoyed it, enjoyed. Uh, if you look at him individually, you can see kind of the movement. He's getting the ball up the field, um, making, you know, cutting through the middle, making passes upwards. So they may have got one got the, the uh, intercepted, but the power on it got the ball still to Erdogan, who was able to take the ball up, and you know, these are some of the things I just saw. So that's why they're fresh in my mind. Uh, Erdogan makes the pass into a Bamian. Bang's not able to get on the ball, um, and and I guess you know if I think about it, and you know, this is more in a Bamiang because now that I remember that, um, he likes to go behind the defense. And, uh, if he crosses in front, I think he'll get the ball a lot more because they can see him. Uh, that's one thing I noticed. So that's a little bit of an Bamiang thing, not a Partey thing, but uh, you know, it, like I said, Partey starts that attack at ball forward, forward moving of the ball and it was good to see so i'd like to see more of that you know he stays you know he's able to stay healthy get healthy and get stronger uh yeah, be nice to see him start the season and see us play um so that was that's part eight. so next up is 
<laughs> yeah. There's Jaka. Oh, my, one of, you know, my, the player that it guys gives, you know, makes my, my blood boil sometimes. Uh, like, I, I mean, I've, I've said it multiple times, but, you know, when I hear him speak, I, I realize the, uh, the, not the power, but the, um, presence that he has within the team. Um, seems knowledgeable about where he, you know, about the football that's being played, and I can guess just from his voice. I guess and I don't know if that's a good thing to, to use because I see his actions and they don't sit, they don't kind of, you know, they don't. I don't get the same feeling as I do when I hear him speak. But uh, he today did all the work, you know, did did all the things that we want. He want we want him to do. Um, I still feel like if you put a different player in that position with. Parte, you're going to see totally, you know, you might see, you're going to see him more attacking. Um, I don't think he, that's his style right now. You know, he's probably more, probably more defensive. He's not really an offensive player for us in that midfield like that. Um, so, you know, and like I said, the, the two goals that happened, he was the pass before the pass, right? Uh, the first one, he went, he's the, the pass that uh, he made out to Chambers, and then Chambers is able to get the ball, cross the ball into to, to, to Pepe. That was him. Uh, the second uh, goal that we scored, he, um, I think he had the ball and maybe lost it. But he got down on the ground and uh, was able to get a foot on the ball and get the ball out, and the uh, ball eventually ends up with um, Odegaard, who gets the ball out to, 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 to Pepe, and Pepe, you know, couple of touches and scores so that's the, what he brings on you know, that's the good Jaka right we see sometimes the bad Jaka um, it's it's a it's a, it's a challenge because when you see that you're like that's what we want uh, but then if you if you look at the, as a whole you probably notice some of the things that slow us down and that's kind of what hurts us especially when we're playing better teams um, his um, his play will slow us down and kind of hinder us because uh, he's not looking to move forward at, at all the time. Um, but when he is, he, you know, he does it pretty well. But it's just not enough. We need more. We need that consistently, uh, a consistent threat moving forward for our, uh, those midfielders when they play. So let's see. We'll see how that works out for us. Um, all in all, he had a good game as well, um, like that. I know if you kind of go back and look at it and, you know, take another look at it, you might see some different things. But, uh, like I said, the two goals that we scored today, he was part of that. Um, so we'll take that. Um, we'll see what happens in the off season. More than likely he'll be back. Um, you know, is he going to start or is he going to come off the bench? I would like to see him come off the bench because I know we'll get that solidity from there. And you can you can build his leadership, you know, you know in the locker room, in the, um, the practice field and stuff like that. And uh, maybe helping along some of the younger players that we need because he's not old, but um, we need some different players to go and play in those positions. And I don't feel like he's going to get that for us. You know, it's um, and that's kind of where I am with him. So let's see how it all pans out. Um, but like I said, good game from him. Um, good game from from Arsenal. Um, let's see. Anything else I want to talk about the game? Uh, so, like I said, you know, got the win. We'll take that. Um, yeah. Finish, we finished off really strong. Finished off really strong. Uh, a lot of the young players that we want to depend on, they kind of showed up to the, They showed up and showed us what they can do. Um, a lot of the older players maybe show what they could do as well. Um, some are going to be gone anyway, so we'll see how that works out for them. Even some of the younger, like uh, Eddie and Eddie was on the bench, Nelson was not. Will they be around with us next season? We'll see. Um, anything else? Oh, Nenny most likely, I think, will come back. I don't, I don't see a reason why we would not want to bring him back. Uh, Cedric and Marie, are they just, are they, st you know, are they um, squad players, and that's why they didn't play as much. Uh, Ceballos is probably not coming back, right? Um, Renison is on the bench. Uh, I guess Ryan is hurt, and that's, you know, one of the negatives for, for him is that, you know what, yeah, he's in and out of the lineup, and we need somebody who's going to be in the lineup, and maybe maybe the future, or maybe, or maybe a future transfer. So we'll see. 
we'll see. Um, all in all, good game. We'll take it. And um, like I said, um, come on, you guys. And uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave you these words. Life is a journey. Don't waste the trip. Enjoy the ride. All right, thank you. And have a good night, a good day. Uh, remember to subscribe and like. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next show. And uh, get these videos out. Yeah, these videos, I have two coming out probably within the next number of hours. Uh, I did it pretty good today. Had some time, so I got them out. Um, yeah. And um, here we go. See ya.